This is a 42-year-old male who is a high-level runner um, that came to me recently with complaints of pain in his anterior right hip. Um, as of this video, actually, he is no longer having any pain in his hip, but he is still having to stretch on a consistent basis. So um, just want to go over a couple things in this video, um, I think segment by segment. First thing we'll, we'll take a look at here with his EMG is we noticed that his left, we looked at both of his calf muscles. His, that's a secondary complaint is a lot of tightness in his, in his calf muscles. Um, and we were both surprised to see that his left one was firing a little bit more than his right. Uh, we're going to see, be able to explain the clinical relevance of that in just a second. Second thing, we jumped down to the group of the hamstrings. You could see that that left hamstring is activating um, more than the right side. Good news is, is he's got some decent glute firing going on as well. Um, just interesting looking at the different patterns of the two. So that's that segment there. Um, in this uh, first um, square here, the only thing that really jumps out to me right away is the difference um, in his right foot coming off higher than his left. And that has to do with the amount of um, in his case, it's actually the amount of um, overactive hamstring. But um, in this one down below here and his pressure, something that was interesting to both of us when we were watching it afterwards was how much crossover he's getting on that right side. Um, I'm going to slow this down. And if you look at this here, this is really significant because his left foot strikes on the left side of the treadmill but his right, look how far that comes over. Um, and now that we're slowing him down, you could see even up here that he's got all this room over here. His left side utilizes over here, but the right side is crossing over for two reasons. Is one, his hip is very tight um, on the medial adductors and medial hamstring. And number two, it's crossing over because he's had a past medical history of trauma to his left leg, and this was years ago, but probably didn't spend enough time on the rehab, and he has since um, developed subsequent um, altered running form. Uh, if you didn't believe me, this is what is really significant, is looking at his uh, myomotion avatar, and look what happens when his left foot, when he strikes down right here, Watch his pelvis. It just drops. Not only that, but he also has a fair amount of lateral trunk lean on that left side. And that all is probably stemming back to his injury. And the interesting part is, see that pelvis drop, um, the tightness in his, even though he has, has been symptomatic on his right side, it's the weakness in the left that is causing him to basically um, not stay on his left side as long. And um, going back to the, to the other video, his right hip stays more in a flex position. It doesn't extend because it is constantly trying to compensate and make up for not being on that left leg as long. So um, it's one of those things that you can see it pretty easily. The other thing is you can really see here his lack of hip extension, um, both sides. The other thing is if you watch this closely, you can really see why his, uh, his left calf is firing more than his right. So he doesn't get any push off. He's not getting as much from his glute because his hip isn't extended. So you can even see if you watch where his hip lands, He's almost more getting his spring loaded. Um, he's getting his push off basically from his calf rather than from his hip. And this is the part that becomes really exciting for runners is that if they basically redistribute that energy and put it back where it's supposed to be, he has incredibly tight hip flexors on both sides. And it's just because he's not used to having the flexibility now that he understands how to stretch properly in three planes of motion, um, these hips can do what they're supposed to do and, and they'll work themselves out. Instead of having so much tightness back here, he's now going to have this flexibility here to allow the glutes to do what they're supposed to do.